Okay guys, got a new knife today. Ordered it a while back, just came in. Um, I was gonna show some other videos or make some other videos of all the other knives that I got, but of course this one came in, so I wanna just do a uh, like an unboxing, which I hate. I hate unboxings. But you know what, I'm gonna do it anyway, so there. All right, so this is what came today. Ganzo. Model G7531-CF. Uh, so I picked this up pretty cheap, about 25 bucks after shipping. Um, I've been seeing it around the internet, so I thought I had to have one, just like every other knife. Uh, but I'm going to open it right, right here, right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's check it out. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm kind of interested that I'd check it out or uh, open it right on camera here so I'd be like totally surprised in front of everybody else. Alright, let's look at it here. It doesn't come out of the box. Oh, there we go. Box comes with a, what's this? Oh, it's like a bag for it. Um, okay, it's a $20 knife, about a $25 knife I guess. And I guess they give you a bag for it. I'm not gonna use that. But anyway, it is. Ah, look at that. Look at that. That's real carbon fiber. Hmm. Sure works nice, doesn't it? Oh my god, look at this thing! No, seriously, it's, uh, it's a good-looking knife, I think. It's blade's pretty well-centered. I haven't even opened it yet, so let's, uh, let's just look at it real quick here, make sure. So it's got a pocket clip that's, like, offset, it's polished, rounded. It's in there pretty solid. Nice, nice. Not gonna shred your pants. Uh, what else? It's got these anodized looking weird. Yeah, they're kind of different colors. Thumb stud. The uh, hardware looks the same, like it's kind of anodized or something. Looks pretty solid. I uh, haven't done anything with it. Let's try and give her a flip. Oh, God. Uh. Ooh, that's going to need a little work, I think. Needs work. It's got the access lock here. Uh, you gotta definitely really get into it to flip that thing. Let's try it this way once. Yeah. Yowzer. This, on the other hand, it's bench made uh, full size griptilian. This thing is much better. Might be able to might be able to tune it up a little. Pretty stiff. Let's see if we can focus. It's got a copper spacer. Looks like a plastic one on this side and copper on that side. 25 bucks, that's pretty nice. Look at that tip up. Carry right out of there. Right out of the box. Tip up. Nice. I like this way though, but it's besides the point. So hard, all right. Let's uh, see how sharp it is. Over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. It's not bad, not bad at all. When I'm slicing, I can kind of feel that probably sharpen that. I'm gonna polish that up a little bit on the edge too. And oh, it does 
isn't the, the access lock here is kind of massive. Oh yeah, it's a lot heavier. So I mean, compared to like a Reptilian, I mean it's definitely a uh, pretty massive blade, pretty massive knife. You know, I'd give you the specs on it, but I don't know what they are, so just know that it is kind of big. Compared to like the Griptilian, I guess it's probably pretty much the same size, so 25 bucks. Next video, I'll go ahead and uh, take it apart and start tuning it up a little bit because this is this spring in here is pretty nasty. And then the blade does not not want to move very well so there we go Ganzo you guys make pretty decent knives